Nigeria's participation at the 79th session of the ongoing United Nations General Assembly recorded the first success as the federal government received the support of the United States Chamber of Commerce with a commitment of about $320 million in mortgage refinancing and women empowerment. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports. Vice President Kashim Shatima leads the federal government delegation representing President Bola Tinubu at this year's United Nations General Assembly. He met with other members of Nigeria's delegation to strategize on Nigeria's engagement in New York. Already, the federal government has secured an investment portfolio of $200 million in mortgage refinancing in Nigeria. The deal was sealed at a U.S.-Nigeria Executive Business Roundtable hosted by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. The sum of $100 million has been earmarked to finance SMEs in Nigeria with particular interest in women empowerment. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce also announced that $20 million has been approved for a firm for processing of cashew nuts in the country. The American Chamber of Commerce says it is committed to working with Nigerians in the development and pursuit of sustainable economic policies. Nigeria's Vice President, Senator Kashim Shetima, reiterated President Bola Tinubu's commitment to an investor-friendly environment. Africa as a, as a continent should, for the very first time in the history of the United Nations, see that, look, that finally they have a voice, Mr. President, and in Nigeria, who is definitely making some authoritative statements. Ahead of President Bola Tinubu's national statement at the United Nations General Assembly, to be delivered by Vice President Kashim Shatima, the Minister of Foreign Affairs led other members to brief the VP on the activities and itinerary lined up for him in New York. A meeting has also been scheduled with the Secretary General of the United Nations. It's, um, it's, it's a speech that will, that will resonate across Africa and the rest of the world. And of course, too, the Vice President, too, will be engaging in, with some multinationals. We'll be engaging with some heads of state, too. Subnationals from Nigeria are also exploring prospects and opportunities on the sidelines of the 79th session of the UN General Assembly. We've listened to them. Uh, we, there are a few takeaways here. We need to take a closer look into them. And then uh, through the Nigerian Governors Forum, we'll be getting back with them. We just had a meeting now uh, with a company that is in charge of uh, energy. And they're really doing well, and they have the financial capacity to be able to partner with cell like uh, Nigeria. So it's an important thing. There's a lot of interest being shown uh, in the Nigerian economy because we have what it takes to be a global player in the economic space. Aside other heads of states lined up to meet with the vice president, there are also scheduled meetings with the head of the African, Caribbean and Pacific states. The president of the World Trade Organization, Dr. Ngozi Okonjo-Wela, director general of the International Atomic Agency and other multinational companies. Femi Akonde, TVC News.